What's up, everybody? This is my sister, back to the gonna be 2K20 Golden City Thunder Mali episode number 24. And today, we are heading to Detroit for Thanksgiving. A matchup against Blake Griffin's former team here. And it's Derek Rose, Derek Favors, and Andre Drummond versus uh, Shy Gilgis, Griffin, CB3, Steven Adams, and the whole uh, gang for us. <laughs> Bruce Brown in that headband gets me every time, bro. Oh my gosh. But Derek Rose looking to kind of carry this Pistons team. So they don't really have a direction right now without. Well, I mean, I don't really know. Without Griffin, they're, you know, with Griffin, they're not that good. And with him, they're even worse. So, uh, anyway, going ahead and start off the game with the green here. Shy Gilgis Alexander starting us. Off on a fast break, uh, you know, our offensive game or fast break game there. Anyway, Steven Adams now getting his first pass. It's Shy Kill just looking for Blake Griffin in the post. Got Derek Favors on him, and Griffin makes a statement in his return with a uh, back scratching dunk right there. Now, here's Markel Fultz into the game, goes in jelly layup. Oh my, look at this! Oh, Markel, we just traded him for the last video. You guys did not know. Um, if you did watch it but did not see the trade, it was at the very end of the video. And, uh, yeah, we gave up Justin Patton and Derek Jones Jr. in a trade exception for him. As Foles throws it up to Blake Griffin, who's got two dunks now. And that was a nice one, a little bit of a, um, not really a 360, but you know what I'm saying, like a little bit of a kind of spinning dunk. <laughs> and, uh, as, uh, Hayward knocks down the three, and then we're gonna look for another lob, and that one's over Luke Kennard. Griffin hangs on the rim for some extra style points, and he's gonna go upstairs there and throw that one down. Now here's Markel, Fultz in transition, looks for the corner to read his Gordon. Hayward makes it. Red Allen's in on home. We are on a 16-6 run here. Had to take CB3 out early because I did have two fouls, and Fultz explodes to the rack. He's got 4-2-2. Two, and two. Now Fultz fires outside. T for 4-3. Got it. Straight away, uh, a bomb there for um, Ferguson is Markel Fultz. You sag off his swagger, baby. You can't leave him open anymore. And here's Ferguson and one assist. Fultz and Ferguson. He's got his second basket of the game. Now Diallo inside. It basically got the mismatch of Derrick Rose. And he pushes him off and then scores with ease. Now here's Markel Fultz in transition. He's going to look to sky in, and he does after he hop steps. What a pretty move from Markel Fultz. Four minutes remaining here in this second quarter. And Fultz explodes again to the rack and scores with another layup. Now here is Fultz. Markel driving inside. Sneaks the shot in. Beautiful play there. Uh, getting it in with the defense all around him. And Fultz, using his speed, goes all the way for the layup. He's got takeover now. 44-26. And now he's going to look to maybe break some ankles. No, he's just going to go all the way. Got it. Contested doesn't matter. And now here's Diallo with the steal. Diallo looking to get a dunk. Instead, he's going to throw it up and we get that same animation for earlier. It's up to Nerlens Noel. Well. Now Diallo uh, gets the ball from Fultz. Diallo spinning, fading away. Shot clock. Cheese for Hamadou. Diallo's got two best here. CP3 back in the game over IT. And he scores. We're up by 20 at the half. And uh, we're shooting very well. Grabbing boards. Got a ton of assists. And uh, they got four blocks. So we got to be able to smart it down, down there in the paint. As Rose has 15. I was kind of letting him score a little bit too because I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> abuse Derrick Rose. I got to let him score. So instead of, you know, trying to play hard, you know, try. And like my try hard defense is very good either. But sometimes it is, and I didn't want him to, you know, have a bad game. So look at CP3 put on the moves though on Derrick. And uh, he will score there. Now Shy Gilgis. Their defense was sagging. We didn't take advantage of it though. But instead, we're going to throw up another lob. This team loves to throw lobs. Chris Paul. You know, um, and Blake Griffin, but we got all these other guys. We get their lob suit too, and uh, we do a great job of, you know, <clears throat> using that to our advantage. And now here's Griffin up top to Steven Adams. Even the Bings are getting involved here in this passing, uh, you know, lobbing. Lob City going on here. That's basically what it is. That's not, not Oklahoma City's Lob City. Now here is another one. Griffin catches with one hand and dunks it down with power. As we take a look at that replay, that one was from SGA. That's a big uh, combination. We got a little duo that we got going on. And SGA uses body to protect the ball. Scores. Now Markel falls back in the game. He got 19 fades away and he gets it to go. 21 points now for Fultz. Now he's going to use his speed, blaze, pass the defense, and score with a green light layup on the right side. Here's Mark Falls looking to drive in. Floater alert around the drum. Got it. Mark Falls up to 25 points here. And now here, give me that. Over Alpha Payton. Noel with the block. Noel outlet to Diallo. Diallo blows by IT. You no know, dunk. 
unfortunately we got a little bit of body animation there and no uh, slam so uh, I was looking for a big big dunk from Diallo did not work his fault scores again and now we're gonna find a cutting Diallo here wasn't there and now we're gonna find faults for the mid-range that is open and that goes down now faults again he's gonna pop the three he's got it to go 34 points for Markel Fultz. Now he's hesitating, looking to create space here with some shot. The shot clock right now. Bring a, they bring a double team. It doesn't matter. He steps it back. Markel Fultz from that mid range is becoming very solid in this 2020 uh, 2021 20, season. And now here's the Markel Fultz screenshot. Here is SGA driving in, finds Blake Griffin with two minutes left here. And uh, now Blake Griffin goes inside. Oh, Don Maker, and he cocks it back and throws it down. Here's Gordon Hayward. Give me those. Looking to go coast to coast. Isaiah Thomas in the paint does not matter. Is that the green light? And now a steal from Griffin on Thon Maker and Blake Griffin. It's showtime the other way. Griffin! I think all of his points that have been dunks. 17 7 for Blake Griffin. Uh, a solid performance uh, for him here in his return to Detroit in year number two with the Thunder. And here's CB3 with the green. CB3 outlet to Shy Gilgis who takes flight and throws it down himself. 13 5. Chris Paul steps it back for three. And CB3 is got nine and three. And now we're going to look to maybe get it back to Chris Paul cutting into the basket with Isaiah Thomas on him. And we got it. 113 to 76 is your final score as Markel Fultz absolutely down in this game. The starters did their uh, thing, but you know, Fultz off the bench in his debut game for the Oklahoma City Thunder went absolutely nuts. So that is great to see. A great sign. Uh, our young backup point guard for us with CB3 uh, still in the lead, you know, leading the, leading the charge. And uh, he can be a great mentor for Fultz and SGA. So looking forward to that. And obviously SGA has had a full year of CB3 under his belt. So learned quite a bit there. His Rose had 23 points, 11 to 23 from the field, all four from downtown. Isaiah Thomas, next leading scorer. I, his Markel Fultz, 17 to 31. Two of two from downtown, four boards, four assists, 40 points in 18 minutes. Blake Griffin, 17 and 7. SGA, 13 and 5 and 2. Gordon Hayward, 12. Chris Paul, 11 and 3. Diallo, 6, 3 and 2. Excuse me, Steven, 5 and 7. Ferg, 5 and 3. Baisley, 2 and 4. And Noel, 2, 7 and 3. And also two blocks. As we take a look at the team comparison, we shot 50, no, 67% overall, 75 and 3, but only took 8. So we made. <clears throat> Most of those threes that we did take with, you know, were very far and few between, far, wait, what's that? What was that phrase? Far and few between, something like that. And we scored 60 points in the paint, 21 on the break. So we took care of our job there, our job there, 26 assists and 34 boards. And we did a little bit of simming here. And uh, we take on the Bucks. we beat them. They're looking to trade for Markel Fultz. The Bulls are, we're definitely not going to do that after we uh, gave up quite a bit to get him. And <clears throat> we lose to the Cavaliers. And here's the Rosen offered up for Steve Nash. Definitely not going to be doing that. Uh, we're taking the Nuggets. And we beat them by 40. Just about 38 to be exact. After losing to the Cavs by 13. Edwards and Willie Colley Stein led the way, interestingly enough. Blake Griffin 23, Falls 13. And Baisley 10, also SGA with 20. Cornhair really didn't do a whole lot. Uh, but an inefficient night for uh, Griffin and uh, didn't, didn't really help. But SGA 31, Griffin 24, Basie with 18, Diallo with 18, CB3 13 and 15. And now we take on the Cavs again. Let's hopefully we can get a little bit of revenge on them. As we're going to look at Steven Adams 18 and 15 in that one. And now uh, let's go ahead and send to about the Lakers game. Maybe the Kings. I don't know if I really want to play the Lakers again. Or maybe possibly even the Warriors. Kind of looking at their records here, seeing who I want to play next. Could play the Trailblazers uh, as we are in December. Not sure what I want to do here. Could go on in the Suns as well. We do play the Heat on Christmas, which should be fun. Let's um, <laughs> try and trade for Fultz. I'm going to put them on my Untouchables list. Um, and I think I did that right here. Yeah, so. Um, Jalen Smith, I guess, can get off of it. We're going to be keeping Fultz around for a long time. And I'm going to keep these guys in the trading block just to see. Uh, trades still be made, may be made, but right now I really like this team what it's looking at. SGA with averaging only a 22. <clears throat> uh, 27 per 36. Griffin 21. Hayward 16. 13 apiece for Fultz and Paul. And uh, DL starting to get a little bit better, but hopefully he can continue to develop on that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you do a good job later. We'll cut down. I'll see you in all in episode 25. See you then. Peace.